After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the significance of electrophoresis, the basic principle and methodology of electrophoresis, the types and application of electrophoresis. Introduction Electrophoresis may be defined as the migration of colloidal particles through a solution under the influence of electrical field. The electrophoresis basically is the movement of distributed particles corresponding to a fluid under the influence of electric field. Electrophoresis is mostly known as electrokinetic phenomena. The technique of electrophoresis was discovered by Rose in 1809 when he experimented that soil particles dispersed in the water migrate under effect of an applied electric field. Electrophoresis take place because the particles dispersed in a fluid nearly at all times carry an electric surface charge. The charge molecule migrates to their oppositely charged electrodes but that electric field is removed before it reaches there completely. Passage of charged particle in an electric field provides differential motion to the sample on the basis of charge and consequently resolve them. An electric field exerts electrostatic coulomb force on the particles through these charges. It has been witnessed that the colloidal particles are transferred to either the positive or negative electrode. Whenever a potential difference is applied between the two electrodes in a colloidal solution. Since electrophoresis is based on the differential movement of electrically charged particles in an electric field. Fundamentally, the technique is appropriate only to ionic or ionogenic materials that is substances transformable to ionic species. Electrophoresis is recurrently used in forensic science, microbiology and medicine. Principle and Methodology All types of electrophoresis are directed by the single set of general principle illustrated by this equation. That is the mobility of a molecule is equals to the product of applied voltage and net charge on the molecule divided by the friction of the molecule. The mobility or rate of migration of a molecule increases with increased applied voltage and increased net charge on the molecule. On the other hand, the mobility of molecule decreases with increased molecular friction or resistance to movement through the viscous medium caused by molecular size and shape. Overall actual movement of the molecules increases with increased time since movement is defined as a rate of migration. In a free buffer solution, in the absence of molecular sieving, the velocity v of a particle is proportional to the field strength E multiplied by its electrophoretic mobility mu. So that is V is equals to mu into E. The velocity V and the field strength E both are vectors while the mobility mu is scalar being positive for cations and negative for anions. The rate at which migration takes place is dependent upon the strength of field, size and shape of molecules. Net charge ionic strength, viscosity and temperature of medium in which molecules are moving. As an analytical technique, it is rapid, simple and very sensitive. Besides the separation technique, it is also utilized diagnostically to study the properties of a single charge species. It provides a foundation for a number of analytical techniques used for separating molecules by charge, size or binding affinity. The charged molecules under the stimulus of electric field travel in the direction of oppositely charged electrodes. Those molecules which are positively charged move towards a cathode and negatively charged molecules move towards anode. 
the charge on the molecules and potential applied through the electrode is responsible for this movement. The specimen under examination is sighted at one end of the electrode. The molecule starts moving to respective electrodes as soon as the electricity is applied, but the movement is influenced by molecular weight of the molecule. Consequently, when a mixture is placed on the electrophoresis paper or gel, different bands are observed along the paper after the process. This is a result of differential rate of migration of molecules based on their weight. Classification of electrophoretic techniques Electrophoresis is commonly categorized on the basis of the existence or absence of solid supporting medium or matrix by means of which the charged molecule travel in electrophoretic system. Solution electrophoresis systems utilizes aqueous buffers in the lack of presence of solid support medium. Such systems can suffer from sample mixing caused by diffusion of the charged molecules with consequential loss of resolution during sample application, separation and removal phases. Therefore, solution electrophoresis system must employ specific resources for stabilizing the aqueous solution in the electrophoresis cell. Generally, electrophoresis is classified on the basis of two criteria. They are initial component distribution and boundary permeability. Electrophoretic techniques can be classified into four main types. They are zone electrophoresis, moving boundary electrophoresis, isotactophoresis, isoelectric focusing. Common mediums used in electrophoresis. First, cellulose acetate. Cellulose acetate is a cellulose derivative in which each hexose ring of a polysaccharide chain has two hydroxyl groups esterified to acetate in general in the C3 and C6 positions. Cellulose acetate is quite prevalent in clinical chemistry as it offers a convenient support that can be equilibrated with buffer in a few seconds and yields good separation of proteins from biological fluids. Fully automatic system have been manufactured around so that the system has been repeat so that the system has become the principal model of combined electrophoresis and robotics. Cellulose acetate allows migration of even large serum proteins. However, the use of cellulose acetate is limited to clinical electrophoresis and is not much in trend in basic research for high resolution runs. Despite the fact that focusing and two dimensional techniques on cellulose acetate membranes have been described. Agarose gels. Agarose is a polysaccharide taken out from seaweed. Agarose is a purified linear galactin hydrocolloid extracted from agar or recuperated directly from agar bearing marine algae like rhodophyta. Agarose gels are extremely easy to prepare and also non-toxic. They have an extensive range of separation but comparatively low resolving power. Polyacrylamide gels. The most resourceful of all matrix are the polyacrylamide gels. Their popularity are because of several fundamental properties. First, optical clarity including ultraviolet transparency. Second, electrical neutrality due to the absence of charge groups. And third, availability in a wide range of pore size. Polyacrylamide is a cross-linked polymer of acrylamide. These gels are considerably more exasperating to formulate than agarose gels. These gels have comparatively small range of separation but have very high resolving power. For characterization and separation of mixtures of proteins, these gels are used. Acrylamide is also known as potent neurotoxin.
Types of electrophoresis Affinity electrophoresis The procedure consists of the charge shift electrophoresis, mobility shift electrophoresis and affinity capillary electrophoresis. The techniques are established on changes in the electrophoretic pattern of molecule through biospecific interaction or complex formation. The interaction or binding of a molecule, charge or uncharged usually changes the electrophoretic properties of a molecule. Membrane proteins may be recognized by an alteration in mobility prompted by a charged detergent. Nucleic acids or its fragment may be categorized by their affinity to other molecules. The technique has been used for assessment of binding constant as for example in lectin affinity electrophoresis or characterization of molecules with particular characteristic like glycan content or ligand binding. Affinity electrophoresis may be used as an alternative quantification of protein. Capillary electrophoresis. Capillary electrophoresis can be applied to separate ionic species by their charge and frictional forces and the hydrodynamic radius. In standard electrophoresis, electrically charged analytes migrate in a conductive liquid medium under the impact of an electric field. The technique of capillary electrophoresis was considered in 1960 to isolate species on the basis of their size to charge ratio inside the small capillary field with an electrolyte. Immunoelectrophoresis It is a common name for several biochemical methods for isolation and characterization of proteins on the basis of electrophoresis and reaction with antibodies. All types of immunoelectrophoresis need immunoglobins, the antibodies which react with protein to be isolated or characterized. Rocket immunoelectrophoresis is one dimensional quantitative immunoelectrophoresis. Fused rocket immunoelectrophoresis is an improvisation of one dimensional quantitative immunoelectrophoresis utilized for thorough medium of proteins in fractions from protein separation experiments. Affinity immunoelectrophoresis is established on changes in the electrophoretic pattern of protein via specific interaction or complex formation with other macromolecules or ligands. Pulse field gel electrophoresis. Pulse field gel electrophoresis or PFGE is a system utilized for isolation of large dioxyribonucleic acid molecules by application of an electric field to a gel matrix that intermittently changes its course. Nevertheless, with periodic change of field direction, the different lengths of DNA react to the change at differing rates. Specifically, larger pieces of DNA will be slower to rearrange their charge when field direction is changed, while smaller pieces will be faster. Over the course of time, with the constant changing of direction, each band will begin to separate gradually even at very large length. Thus, separation of very large DNA pieces using PFGE is made possible. Sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis One of the conventional means of examining proteins by electrophoresis is by using sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. SDS is a detergent which coats a linear protein sequence with a layer of SDS molecule and denatures it by binding to the hydrophobic region of the protein. Due to its negative charge, it becomes the dominant charge of the complex. The binding of number of SDS molecules is directly proportional to the size of the protein. Therefore, there should not be any change in the charge to mass ratio with size. In solution, principally all different size proteins covered with SDS would run at about the same mobility. However, the proteins do not run through water. Instead, they run through an inert polymer known as polyacrylamide. Native gels. It is also possible to run protein gels without the SDS. These are known as native gels in that one does not deliberately denature the protein. Here, the native charge on the protein divided by its mass 
governs the movement of protein in terms of speed and direction. Electrofocusing gel. A different variant of gel electrophoresis is to decant a gel that purposefully has a pH gradient from one end to the other. As the protein travels through this pH gradient, its different ionizable groups either pick up or lose protons. Ultimately, it will find a pH where its charge is zero and it will get focused at that point. DNA agar rose gels. It is a simple method of separating fairly large fragments of DNA from one another by size is to use an agar rose gel. DNA does not need a detergent since it already has a large number of negative phosphate groups evenly spaced. Thus, as with SDS PAGE, the charge to mass ratio is constant. Also, like SDS PAGE, the separation results from the matrix itself. The range of size sensitivity can be varied by changing the density of agar rose. DNA denaturing polyacrylamide gels often called as sequencing gels. These gels usually contain additional denaturing compound such as urea. Two pieces of DNA that differ in size by one base can be distinguished from each other this way. Now let us summarize. The elementary criterion of electrophoretic separation is presence of charge on the separated macromolecules. There are many types of electrophoresis, but all involve producing an electric field between two points and placing a matrix of some sort in between through which the macromolecules must travel. The concept of electrophoresis is uncomplicated and similar to centrifugation. The molecules feel a power pushing them in one direction. Nevertheless, in this case, the strength involved is due to electric field acting on the charge of the molecule. Electrophoresis is employed in forensics, molecular biology, microbiology, genetics and biochemistry. Electrophoresis is a technique employed to isolate and sometimes decontaminate macromolecules, especially proteins and nucleic acid that differ in size, charge or conformation. The molecules migrate either towards the negative pole or towards the positive pole according to their charge as soon as the charged molecules are placed in an electric field. Electrophoresis is one of the greatly effective techniques of analysis and sole method for separation of proteins for western blot, RNA studies, etc.